We are smack dab in the middle of college football season, but slowly and surely college basketball is creeping up upon us. And we've got Rob East on the head coach of UAB. The Blazers kicking things off in an exhibition game next month. But first things first, it's an annual tradition. It used to be called Hoops on the Hasphalt, but now Jared has gone. Rob East on in. Hoops on the Green is going to be the spectacular tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Thursday. Uh, I know you guys want to keep it fresh every year, yeah. so what are you doing to don't want to give it away, but what are you guys doing tomorrow? Well, the first thing is hoops on the Eson fault didn't uh, <laughs> didn't work, didn't sound as good, so we so we changed it to hoops on the green. Uh, there's going to be a couple things, you know. We're going to uh, unveil actually the new uniforms uh, for the season, so that'll be cool. We have a couple tricks, couple uh, couple tricks up our sleeve. We're going to give away a 60-inch uh, TV actually to a, to a student. So we uh, we're trying to set a record for attendance, and I think we have a good chance to do it tomorrow night. I know you guys. You said earlier that you were doing it on the street a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yep. when it got so big mm -hmm. that you had to move it to the green. How cool has it been that it's gotten so huge? You know, to watch it transform over the last five years has been awesome. The first one I was telling you, it was in the middle of a street in, in downtown Birmingham on campus. Then we went to the parking lot because we needed uh, some more space. And now the middle of campus was the first year last year that we did that. And uh, we set, I think, uh, you know, a, a record for attendance then, and we're going to try to break it this year. But it's one of the most unique basketball kickoff events really around the country, to be honest. You guys have had a lot of cool introductions the night of with the head coach. Now that you're the head coach, you're not going to give it away, but can you give us a teaser of what may happen with your introduction? William Lee texted me uh, a couple a week ago and said, are you going to skydive in, coach? And I was like, oh, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're going to go, you know what, it's election season, right? We're going to go with the uh, presidential theme a little bit here uh, for the introduction. So that's all the, all I can give you. That's the teaser. Yes, that's the teaser. You mentioned William Lee, uh, one of two guys, along with Coakley, who's a, a all-conference USA mm -hmm. preseason guy. You've got so much talent back on this roster. How much easier did it make it your job the last seven months? You know, it's been uh, super easy. And I, and I said this yesterday at Conference USA Media Days. These guys, they're older. They've played together. They know our system. They can almost coach themselves in practice right now, but to, to be a, a first-year head coach and to have that much talent, uh, have that much team chemistry is, is a unique situation for myself to be in, and uh, I'm just really blessed to be here and, and excited to get the season going. There's a lot of well-deserved expectation that we're ready to take on. No matter what sport you're talking about, whether it's football, basketball, there, there's always a transition between coaching staffs. Your guys mm -hmm. isn't going to be as great, obviously, but will there be somewhat of a transition, you think, or not at all? A little bit. You know, we hired, I kept Coach Battle, who was an assistant with us, and, and uh, one of my new assistants is Kevin Devitt, who used to be with us when we first started, who all the team pretty much knows. So the, that transition has been seamless, um, and again, they know me. That's the most important thing, and I think they, that, that, uh, they know what to expect from our coaching staff, and that's helped a lot. The students and the fans are still hyped up. You set records last year yep. for attendance. What do you want to get out of this event tomorrow? You know, I think it's it's to kick off our season, to build the excitement. We're on pace to have more season ticket holders than we've had in a decade at Bartow Arena. We're doing some marketing things to spruce up the game day environment. That's going to be new that people haven't seen. And, and I really want to create the best uh, basketball, college basketball atmosphere really in our state and in the south. And I think with our team, with the momentum around UAB athletics, we have a great chance to do that this year. And you're scheduling tough competition every year. Uh, how important has that been working with, uh, with Mark? Uh, it's been awesome. And, you know, they, uh, I think the fans want it. Our players want it. Uh, given what happened last year, we had a tremendous season. But at the end of the year, we weren't in position to make the NCAA tournament. Uh, given our schedule, if we play well against some of those teams early on, we're going to have a chance to put ourselves in a position to achieve some of the goals we want. You've set such lofty expectations based on what happened two years ago. And, and winning a game in the NCAA tournament. Yep. Uh, those don't go away, obviously, but do you almost feel like it may be a, a curse that you have those high expectations so much because if you don't meet it, you feel like you, maybe you fall flat? You know what, a, a little bit, but I think in coaching and if you're a competitor, uh, and you know our, our guys, our sophomores, the Nick Norton, that William, they've won two rings in two years, and th that's th that's the expectation they want as competitors. That's the expectation you want as a coach. I'm just lucky enough to be, you know, I'm still undefeated now, haven't won any games, haven't lost any games, and I'm in that situation now. And we are as a staff, and it, it's awesome. It's what it's all about. I mean, that, this is why they play the games to put yourself. This is why you work so hard to have a chance to 
to achieve some of those high expectations that people have set for us. Still in the honeymoon phase, hoping he stays in the honeymoon yeah. phase throughout the 2016-2017 season. It's Rob Eason, UAB head coach of basketball. The hoops on the green is tomorrow night, Thursday, 7 o'clock at UAB if you want to check it out.